everybody. I wanted to take a few minutes and show you something I get asked about a lot. Now, all of my students have come and heard me play at one time or another. And afterwards, they say, hey, how do you, how do you spin your drumsticks? Well, you got to show me that. So I want to show you what I do. Now, there's hundreds of videos on YouTube that will show you and try to teach you uh, how to spin a drumstick. There's a lot of different ways to do it. I'm going to show you the one that works best for me. When I was younger, uh, didn't have YouTube, didn't have computers, but a few people had tried to show me things, and I learned them, but I thought they were difficult to do when I was drumming. So I'm going to show you the method that I use that works best while I'm playing. It's this simple. Take your hand, all right, in between these two fingers here. We're going to take our drumstick, and we're going to make sure the tip is pointing to the right. And this is important because when you learn how to grab, you want to play. All right. So we're going to take that drumstick and we're going to put it right dead square in the middle. All right. That's all I'm doing. Now, let's just imagine that this was a magic marker. Okay. And we're going to walk up to a whiteboard and we're going to draw backwards circles. Now, my wrist is really stiff right now. I'm squeezing the drumstick with my fingers just to keep it there. But as you do this and you loosen up your wrist and you loosen up your fingers, that drumstick starts to flop around a bit and now it looks like it's spinning. So actually I'm not spinning the drumstick at all. But when you do it quick, it looks great. Now, when you practice this, make sure you do this away from everything and everybody because two things happen when you do this number one the drumsticks gonna have a natural tendency to slide like this alright the drumsticks are gonna slide right out of your fingers the next thing you know poof, that drumsticks gonna sail and when I say sail they'll sail alright they'll go 10 15 feet away alright the other thing that's gonna happen is the drumstick is gonna have the tensity to move upwards so that's the thing that we're working at. We want to be able to do this, and we want to be able to control it. We want to keep it right in here. I'm warning you right now, if you practice this for a while, it's going to itch. And you might actually get a little callus in there, and it might actually be a little bit sore for a day or two. It'll go away. But here's the good news, is when you're doing this and incorporating it into your drum beat, which I'll show you another time, all right? Uh, you only have to spin the stick three or four times. One, two, three, four. Okay? Now, there's one other thing that I do that kind of adds to the illusion or the optical effect when I'm spinning these sticks. Is what I do is I raise my hand up. All right? So I start down here and I lift my arm or my elbow or my wrist. And that just kind of gives it a flotation type thing. Well, let's take this and let me show you what we're going to do on the drum set to add it in there. Okay, now watch how many times this drumstick actually spins. Now, I'm just going to play a basic eighth note groove one, three, two, four, uh, one and three on the kick, two and four on the snare. I'll maybe I'll throw an eighth note in there. But watch this. I'm going to spin the stick on the two, by the way, after the two. Here we go. complicated. Again, you saw it. Most of the time I only spun the stick two or three times, maybe three or four. When you're working this out, you're going to spend so much time just trying to get it to go for three or four seconds. Remember, if you can get it to the point where you can do it three times and grab it, that's your goal. Okay? You'll get better and better as you go. Uh, younger students, this is a little bit hard because your hands are smaller. Um, you'll grow into it. Okay? 
again, I can't emphasize enough to be careful when you're practicing this. When I was a kid, I practiced this, and I was using these great big DC-10 marching band drumsticks, and after about three times of putting dents in the wall, uh, my mom said, hey, take it outside, goofball. And I took it out back, and I had a great big backyard, and I practiced and practiced and practiced. But the sticks went flying. You can't hurt other people. I can tell you from experience from teaching other students, when I teach my younger kids, they try it just once. I gotta stand back. I almost lost teeth and eyes. Okay? So be very careful when you practice this. But it's not complicated. Uh, and have fun with it, alright? Take care. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.